Welcome to Math Made Easy with Frida. Today we will be learning about radicals as fractional exponents. When working with radicals like square root of x, cube root of x, and so on, it is very, very helpful to think of them as fractional exponents where instead of working at with square root of x, think of it as x to the power of half. And when we work with cube root of x, try to think of it of x to the power of 1 over 3. Fourth root of x, x to the power of 1 over 4. And the fifth root of x, x to the power of 1 over 5. This makes calculations so much easier when working with large math problems. Okay, let's recall the square root of 4 is actually, according to this, is 4 to the power of half. Think of it that way. It will make your work much easier, which is 2 to the power of 2 times half. Then the square root of 9 is equal to 9 to the power of half, which is actually 3 to the power of 2 times half, which makes working with, with the radicals so much easier. Then what if we have the cube root of 27? That's equal to 27 to the power of 1 over 3, which is 3 to the power of 3 into 1 over 3. Always think of radicals as fractional exponents. And let's get into some practice. The square root of 2 squared. Now, according to fractional exponents, that's 2 squared to the power of half. And let's multiply the 2 into half is equal to 1. And we get 2 to the power of 1, which is 2. The cube root of 3 cubed is equal to 3 to the power of 3 to the power of 1 over 3. Let's multiply the powers and we get 1. 1. So that's 3 to the power of 1, which is 3. Based on this, let's see if we can solve this. We have x squared and we want to find the cube root of x squared. Following the same rules, we have x squared here to the power of 1 over 3 because we're talking about the third root. And let's multiply the exponents. 2 into 1 over 3, we get 2 over 3. So this is equal to x is to the power of 2 over 3. 3. And this is also interchangeable where in case we have the square outside where we had to find the cube root of x first and then square it, we would have x to the power of 1 over 3 into the power of 2, which would give me 2 into 1 over 3 again, which is 2 over 3, which is x is equal to x to the power of 2 over 3. They are both equal. That means these two numbers are interchangeable over here. So this lesson was to take you through trying to use fractional exponents instead of radicals while solving large equations. If you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up. And if you want to practice every day, please subscribe to my channel as I post every day. Till next time, have a nice day.